have you shot your final scenes yet? And are you happy with how things ended? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Episode five should just be called Holy I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it, I, it, it was horrible. What they see is just the end of the Dothraki, essentially. <laughs> While Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces, they certainly haven't forgotten about her. And the Golden Company has arrived in King's Landing, courtesy of the Greyjoy fleet. The balance has grown distressingly even. We need to find Euron Greyjoy's fleet and sink it. Your Grace, he's already destroyed a good portion of our fleet to send our remaining ships after him. I'm not talking about sending our ships after him. I would have Drogon, Viserion and Rhaegal. What can anyone do to them? While Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. Best season ever! <laughs> At that point, Jamie really has to has to take a really long, uncomfortable look at who he really is. Your precious Bendy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive. Would you have done it? I think that's the turning point for him. When have I ever been able to convince Cersei of anything? Try. If not for yourself, if not for her, then for every one of the million people in that city, innocent or otherwise. Drove my sword into his back. To be honest, I never really cared much for them, innocent or otherwise. I think Jamie, by the end of episode five, has come to terms with who he really is. And he may not be happy with who he really is, but he knows he's not. He knows what matters to him, and Cersei is what matters to him. Oh, I mean, I was pissed. And even if she has come to terms with who her father was and what her father really was. I'm not my father. No, you're Christ. Thank the gods. Ultimately, she is who she is, and that's a Targaryen. Our fathers were evil men, all of us here. They left the world worse than they found it. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave the world better than we found it. And then, you know, she has said repeatedly throughout the show, I will take what is mine with fire and blood. And in this episode, she does it. I am not here to be queen of the ashes. Tens of thousands of innocents will die. These are the people you came here to protect. How many slaves are there in Yunkai? 200,000. Then we have 200,000 reasons to take the city. If you want to sit on the throne your ancestors built, you must win it. That will mean blood on your hands before the thing is done. The blood of my enemies, not the blood of innocents. She knows she has won this war it's in that moment when she makes the decision to make this personal. I'm here to free the world from tyrants. When you look back to season one, when Khal Drogo gives the golden crown to Viserys and her reaction on watching her brother's head melted off. He was no dragon. There is something kind of chilling about the way that Danny has responded to the death of her enemies. Uh, I was concerned we were gonna ruin that, but I don't think we did. Well. <laughs> You too. If you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. <laughs>